Good afternoon folks, you're watching The Hungry Handgunner, I'm Nick, and today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the modifications that I have made to this CZ Scorpion, and immediately I already know YouTube has demonetized this video because I'm talking about modifying a gun. We could have burned through a lot of ammo. I said I want to give a huge shout out to my channel members and Patreon members because in times like this when I'm talking about something YouTube doesn't like, that cuts into the income from the channel and you guys are there picking up the slack and I appreciate that more than words can express. It's never something you're obligated to do, but if it's something you want to do, there are links in the description for both of those. Each one has their own perks. Channel members get early access to videos. Patreon guys get some Patreon only content. So for starters, there is nothing wrong with the stock CZ Scorpion, in this case the Evo 3S1. There's nothing wrong with these guns. A lot of it's gonna come down to ergonomics and what you prefer. So right off the bat, you guys can see that I put an EOTech holographic sight on there. No biggie there. I have a flashlight on it, an angled foregrip. No biggies there. Now the actual modifications I'm talking about are the safety selector, the extended charging handle and the HB Industries spring kit for the trigger. So if you watched my first look video, there will be a link up there, uh, you saw that I wasn't really a big fan of this gun uh, as it came as far as the trigger. And then I ran into some issues with the safety, which I'll demonstrate with my left hand over here. Um, in safe, it's no big deal. But when it goes to fire, that safety selector right there is digging into that first knuckle on the index finger. Because I'm right-handed, it was impacting the right hand. If I had to shoot this left-handed, it would be uncomfortable, but it would be okay because I'm not gonna shoot it that way most of the time. So I went ahead and put an AK style safety lever on there, and that has been awesome. Uh, I like how easy it is to tell. I can just feel if it's down, safety's on, it's very easy to get it off and put it back on. So if you like AK style safeties, that's something you can do. Um, they got these parts from HB Industries, so that's really cool there. The other thing I did is an extended charging handle. The stock one wasn't bad. It wasn't too hard to use, but I got bigger fingers and I like being able to get a more sure purchase on there. So it rattles a little bit. Maybe a deal breaker for you. It is not for me, but I do like that quite a bit. I can hook it with my pinky. I can hook it how, however it, it works. So very those two, the safety selector and the Charging handle were very, very simple modifications to do, and if there's some interest in a how-to video on that, I've got no problem making one of those. However, the spring install, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. That was kind of rough for me, and if you're more experienced working on guns, it may not be that bad for you. Plus, HB Industries has an excellent video. That's actually what I used to put that in. I'm not going to be able to compete with that video, so there we are. But if you want to see a how-to video on the safety selector and the charging handle, drop a comment and let me know. If you have a Scorpion and there's other modifications you have made to yours, drop them in the comments and let me know. Um, so far, so good. I wish I had more ammo to put through it right now, but I'm trying to go easy because the ammo situation, but it is a very, very fun gun to shoot and quickly becoming one of my favorites in my collection. So anyways, guys, this is just a short one, a little PSA on what I've done to it and why, because I'm not normally one to just jump in and start modifying guns, but I did on this one and there's the why behind it. So I hope everybody's doing fine. Stay safe. Keep shooting if you can. And if you can't, I kind of feel you there. Uh, get some dry fire and I guess that's all we can do. Take a first aid class, things like that. Auxiliary skills other than just shooting uh, that come into the preparedness and self-defender world. So I will see you guys next time. All right.